Today on X Play, we review Madden NFL 09 to take you inside Dead Space for some outer space gore. Plus, we've got gaming legend Will Wright, creator of The Sims and Spore, on the show for a segment you'll have to see to believe. All that and new Soul Calibur 4 Chief. X Play starts now. Hello and welcome to Edgeplay, the most watched video game show on television. I'm Adam Sessler. And I'm Morgan Webb. We're coming to you from the G4 Studios in Los Angeles on Monday, August 11th. Now coming up in today's show, Mr. Sark will take you inside Bionic Commando Rearm, the downloadable remake of the classic NES game. Plus, Chris and Holtz got a new Soul Calibur 4 cheat for all you fashion whores out there. And we've got your all access pass to the Madden VIP party where gamers, athletes, and Playboy bunnies mix it up. And of course, our review of Madden NFL 09. But first, Morgan's got all the day's top headlines in the gaming update. According to a new report conducted by the NPD Group, gamers can be categorized into seven unique segments. Among them are the extreme gamers who have purchased up to 24 titles in the past three months and spend an average of 45 hours a week playing video games. The report claims that of the 174 million people who play video games, only 3% are considered extreme gamers. 9% are considered avid PC gamers, while console gamers make up 17% and play for an average of 8.2 per week. Topping all other segments with 22% are the young heavy gamers, who show a strong preference for portable gaming. Next, legendary Star Trek actor Leonard Nimoy, a.k.a. Mr. Spock, appeared at the official Star Trek convention in Las Vegas this weekend to reveal a new gameplay trailer for Cryptic Studios' upcoming MMO, Star Trek Online. The event revealed that the game will take place in the year 2409, 30 years after the events of Star Trek Nemesis. And finally, we've got details on some unique Xbox 360 achievements. Gaming website Xbox360Achievements.org has revealed a Fable 2 achievement called The Swinger, where gamers take part in a responsible orgy, while an achievement called The Goth asks gamers to dye their hair black and wear black makeup and a black outfit. Rock Band 2 will give 20 gamer score points to gamers who unlock Hello Cleveland for deploying vocal overdrive four times in a single song, and 25 points will go to those who earn more than 1 million points in a single song. That's it for today's gaming update. For the latest news, be sure to check out our website, g4tv.com slash xplay. But now let's go over to Adam, who hates the player, not the game. No, no. There are very few things you can count on these days. Loved ones, friends, ladies of the night, they'll all eventually disappoint you. But not Madden. Every year, Madden's there for you. It's like whiskey, except you can play it. Here's our review. We often criticize sports games for lack of originality, but don't tell that to the guys at EA, because Madden NFL 2009 brings all the fresh goods. And they get him at the 44-yard line. The 20th Anniversary Edition introduces the new Madden IQ system, where players train in a Jeff Bridges-approved holographic environment to adjust the game's difficulty level based on your performance. Hopefully over time, you can raise your Madden IQ. Yep, what he said. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not all. This one falls incomplete. Madden 09 also introduces the rewind feature, where players get a second chance to replay a missed possession. So for all you Falcons fans out there, this will be a much needed option. There are no mercy rules online, so all you veterans out there can beat those rookies till they probably drop out. McDonald gets the pick. One thing that is very noticeable compared to last year's version is the look and feel of the game. There for the touchdown. Tiburon has revamped the graphics, which can be seen in the player stadiums, weather, tackle animations, and even the field goal nets. Extra point is good. These modifications, as well as the moderate facelift made to the offensive and defensive gameplay, truly brings that much more needed realism to the NFL experience. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Production is top-notch. The cameras rock back and forth when breaking away to the end zone, and the screen shakes with force when landing a huge hit. Don't forget the new touchdown celebrations. He just laid it out there beautifully for his receiver to put it in. 
We'll get ready for the kickoff. The audio presentation is first class, with a great soundtrack and play-by-play commentary by Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth. He took it the distance. Let's not forget about the man himself. Run the ball and pick up a few. You're almost there. Thanks for the tip, John. The EA Sports Backtrack is also a great addition, where your pitiful mistakes are replayed in a televised-style recap. And here you'll see the quarterback force the pass in there that he should have never thrown. Superstar and franchise modes make the return with a few improvements, but 2009 has also added Madden Moments, which highlights last year's NFL season, as well as the highly desired online leagues, which can hold up to 32 down, players. Yeah. This game is not flawless, few glitches can still be noticed, and it lags occasionally during online play. Jackson is lined up under center. And watching 350-pound lineman getting back body drop isn't exactly super realistic either. Like Reggie Bush and Kim Kardashian, Madden NFL 09 is imperfect, but it's close to it. Five. He's my quarterback. Out of five. And it's caught. Touchdown. Crank it. Launching a five out of five game seems like a pretty good reason to throw a party, right? EA invited us to their VIP release extravaganza, and X-Play News producer Blair Herter has your all-access pass. What's up, Blair Herter here in Hollywood, California. Where else are you going to throw a party as big as the Madden 09 VIP premiere? Everybody wants to come to this. We're bringing you guys inside. Go check it out. Is it kind of a turnoff if a guy is really into video games? I don't think so. I th- I mean, all of us, we grew up loving video games. Girls love them too. And as long as you don't spend all your time on video games, as long as you get out there in the real world, it's cool. You're not going to get into the box if you don't get out of the box. That's right. Cool. We're here for Madden. Madden. Madden rules. It looks so real. It's incredible. Yeah, do you play at all? Have you ever played Madden? I watch the guys play it because I think that's hotter. <laughs> you think it's attractive that guys play Madden? Yeah, because they get all roused up, all their testosterone, like, yeah! See? Yeah! <laughs> where, where have you been for the last 27 years of my life? Yeah, football! It's the video game. Even if you're not a gamer, you play this game. I mean, I don't play games as much as I used to, but, you know, John Madden comes out, man, and I'll be one of the first ones in the store to get it. It's a thousand degrees inside. This man is dressed this way and looks this good. You know what? It's 1,800 degrees in here. You you underestimated it, but it's a good event, man. Everyone's out here. I think the body heat's really taking over just because everybody's excited to play the game for the first time. Also, there are a lot of attractive women in here, and I think that helps. Yeah, it does, and I'm thinking that's why I'm wearing this suit right now. I actually got to go to the EA facility and test drive 2009. It was pretty sweet. One of the big things that I thought was amazing was the training mode they added, which I thought was amazing because if I play against, say, you or Sark, you know, the Halo killer, um, if I play against somebody that's more experienced than I am, then I tend to be at a disadvantage. And you can play against a higher level player. It kind of sets you at a handicap, which is amazing. What's happening? Well, How come I what is happening here? Video game party. Can we here? swear on G4? Yes. I hope so. We have bleeping in the edit phase. Can you, you play Madden at all? Yeah, yeah, I play bad. Yeah. What do you think of it? I think it's, my, it's my favorite game because almost everybody knows how to play it. Yeah. Barry, I love doing next place. That's justice, baby. 08 was damn near perfect. How do they make 09 better? I just think the graphics where the players looking more realistic and their facial expressions. I mean, you know, you really want to get in there and look at the facial expressions. You know, I can actually show you what a, a, a grimacing facial expression would be if you... Put me in a bear hug. Back Put me in a bear hug. Uh, Put you? me in a bear hug. Okay. All right, one, two. Oh! Yep, like that. Yeah. If they would have mocap me just now... That would work. All right, well, that's all I got for you guys from the biggest video game party I've ever been to. Now, this is usually the part of the night where I steal a free copy of the game and go home and play by myself, but... uh I hear help calling. I'll see you guys later. Will Wright is an icon in the gaming industry, having created, I don't know, classics like SimCity and The Sims and This Falls 4. Calling him a genius is, you know, well, very accurate. In a brand new exclusive segment, X-Play is going to attempt to class this place up. So we're letting Will share his views on whatever the hell he feels like talking about each week. Why? Well, because he's smarter than us. Here's the Will Wright Minute. In a will right minute Anything can happen Okay, so most people don't know this, but in the mid-70s, the Russians orbited and operated an armed battle station. 
What it really was, was a manned spy satellite. This is kind of before they had really elaborate electronic technology and electronic cameras. So they put these massive optical cameras on the space station, had the cosmonauts basically photographing sensitive installations. Now at the same time, the Air Force was developing this interceptor, the Dynastar, and the Russians were afraid that we were developing that thing to shoot down their space station. So they actually armed the space station with a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft cannon that was bore mounted along the station and designed to point and shoot down American interceptors. Now the cosmonauts were terrified to fire this thing because if you think about it, when they fired this, it actually deorbit the station. It's equivalent to firing the reaction thrusters. So they had to tie the reaction control system into this and uh, to keep it from deorbiting. And they actually successfully destroyed a target something like three kilometers away with this gun in tests. But uh, and this was never disclosed until uh, after the Berlin Wall fell, you know, because it was kind of in violation of every space treaty we had at the time. Работа красивая. Coming up on X-Play, we've got a Soul Calibur 4 cheat that will have you up to your neck in unlockable gear. Kristen Holt will show you how to clean out the Tower of Lost Souls. Plus, Mr. Sark sits down with one of the creators of Bionic Commando Rearm for the latest on the upcoming 2D remake. Then, we preview Dead Space, the shooter that will make you want to kill every sign of intelligent life in outer space. Stay with us. Yeah. G4X-Play. Welcome back to X-Play. Last week I had the honor, the pleasure, and the thrill of heading up to LucasArts for an exclusive look at the very latest on their new Star Wars, The Force Unleashed. I talked to developers, saw never-before-seen levels, and got to duel The Apprentice. Be here this Thursday when you'll get to see it all in our Star Wars special, but here's a taste. For a stay out of the sun, summer continues, and we're the only network taking you to the 30th anniversary celebration of Japan's Star Wars premiere. We'll have a special sneak peek of Clone Wars and follow Blair Butler as she begins her Jedi training. Then don't miss x plays special on Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the only game that puts you in control of Darth Vader's secret apprentice. Catch the Star Wars in Japan celebration Thursday night at 8, only on G4. Now, Soul Calibur 4 is insane breast physics and, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the game has a ridiculous character creation system. There are so many options, people are managing to recreate other fighters and iconic characters. And Kristen Holt is here to help you get all the stuff you need. Yes, I am. Thanks, Adam. If you want even more gear to create your masterpiece, the Tower of Lost Souls is the place to go. There's challenge after challenge, but the rewards are worth the work. Okay, I think we've given you more than enough time to clear the first few floors of the Soul Calibur 4 clothing store known as the Tower of Lost Souls. Besides, your character's closet is virtually screaming for more goodies, so get back to work. We'll show you how. Perfect. We resume our fashion quest on floor 5. The goal here? Simple. Defeat your opponent with a ring out. Yep, that's it. Easy, right? Successfully complete this harrowing objective to receive the clergy clothes. If you thought floor 5 was a chore, oh brother, welcome to floor 6. Merely throwing your opponent earns you the goods here. Best bet? Enlist Ivy. Her sword turned whip is a surefire trip to throw city. Congratulations, you just earned the wonder jacket. Up on floor 7, things get a little more challenging. Clear this stage without missing any attacks to unlock the treasure chest. You'll be handsomely rewarded with the warrior trousers. Unlocking the hidden goodie on floor 8 will require skill, determination, and... You know what? Just change your character twice. There's one, and there's two. The completion of this challenge will earn you the Ice Mirror Armor Ring as well as the gratitude of Lord Vader as only those possessing the Force can equip this item. 
Last but not least, the ninth floor. Guard your opponent's attacks successfully three times in a row, and you've done it. But be careful. It's amazing how quickly a block can turn into you getting tossed right on your chainmail clad butt. Do it, and you'll get the Scarlet Blossoms top. There you have it, floors five through nine. But our quest for Soul Calibur booty has just begun. Be sure to check G4TV.com slash G for the latest tips and tricks. Right now, I'm going to send it back over to Morgan. Now, if Iana Commando rearm proves anything, is that internet petitions and whining actually can work. With a full-fledged 3D game on the horizon, this downloadable game is the delicious appetizer before the main course. x own Mr. Sark sat down with one of the game's creators for an exclusive look at how it all works. What's up, everybody? Mr. Stark here. I'm here with Simon from Grind, the creative director on Bionic Commando Rearmed. Uh, we're going to ask him a few questions, find out what's going on with this game. So a lot of the games that are coming out as downloadable content on these networks, they're just reskins of the original game. Is this is that the case with Bionic Commando, or have mm. you uh, you've prettied it up even more? Oh further? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we, I think we set a new like bar for how a remake should be made, and uh, like people are already using like rearmed. What, what game would you like to get the rearm treatment? It's like a phenomenon. What would you say is the biggest change that you've applied to rearm? That is definitely all the new game free modes that we've added. Uh, competitive multiplayer, cooperative, and also the uh, challenge room, the obstacle courses that you can play. Now the first, the first game is it's famously difficult. Are you bringing that over? Is this game it is super, difficult. super hard? Yeah, it is. It is because you can never jump, no matter how small the uh, the pit or the hole or whatever. You have to have something above you that you can connect to and swing across that hole. All right, Simon. Well, thanks for showing me the game. Thanks for uh, having me. I look forward to uh, molesting it for 200 achievement <laughs> points this summer. Cool. <laughs> When X-Play returns, we experience some good old-fashioned space madness. We'll take you inside the gruesome survival horror action of Dead Space. Don't move. This, then you duck this, cause I'm all about the nerd life, ward life. If you dig this, then you duck this, cause I'm all about the nerd life, ward life, yeah. Welcome back to X-Play. If 2001, A Space Odyssey and Resident Evil 4 had a baby, and then Aliens and Silent Hill had a baby, those babies got together and had a kid, you'd probably get dead space. Electronic Arts wants to scare you senseless this Halloween, and this preview shows you how they're going to do it. Nobody can hear you scream in space, especially when everybody else is dead. In EA's Dead Space, you are Isaac Clark, just an ordinary repairman living in the future, sent to fix a space mining ship's communication system, when he discovers that aliens have slaughtered the rest of the crew and must now fight or become a carcass on a floating graveyard for the rest of eternity. The storyline refrains from non-interactive cutscenes and unfolds through audio and text logs, as well as characters you stumble across. Use your trusty plasma torch to cut through attacking alien tentacles and leave a trail of bloody limbs and messy body parts in your wake. If lost, navigate with the in-game map, an artful, real-time 3D hologram which emanates from Isaac's homemade suit. Designers have created an unsettling ambiance which blends shadows, unearthly sound effects, and open space to enhance the game's intensity and surprises. The fundamental difference between this horror thriller and previous third-person shooters is that Dead Space's gameplay focuses on strategy. Because of the limited firepower supply, you must use your engineering know-how to scour the ship, collect parts, find health packs, and assemble cool weapons like the kinetic movement gun. Dead Space also takes a realistic approach by incorporating elements in gameplay, such as zero gravity, where you can springboard off walls or ceilings, which gives players a multi-dimensional feel for controls. You also pass through vacuum environments where, like real space, the only audible sounds are your own self-contained breathing and gasps from within your suit. Dead Space will be eliciting screams from survival horror fans this fall. 
Tomorrow on X-Play, get ready to battle mythological monsters in real time as we go hands-on with the new RPG, Rise of the Argonauts. Then, the classic shooter is back. We've got your all-access pass to Wolfenstein. Plus, we strap on our jetpacks and head to another dimension in our preview of the innovative vertical shooter, Dark Void. And on Thursday, we head to LucasArts for our behind-the-scenes look at Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Only X-Play has exclusive new details and never-before-seen footage from the final build of the game. Don't miss this all-access journey inside the latest chapter of the Star Wars trilogy in what could be the best Star Wars game ever. Be there. And we actually have some really good news. We are very happy to finally be able to announce a weekly version of X-Play available on Xbox Live. Now you'll be able to download your X-Play and watch us whenever you feel like it. It should be most of the time. It is X-Play Weekly. Check it out on Xbox Live on Thursday, August 14th. And up next, we're going to see Unbeatable Bonds UK. There's one thing I wanted to add to Dead Space is that uh, we just found out that Warren Ellis, the great comic book writer, also had a hand in the story of that game. I already wanted to play it. I really want to play it. It's going to be good. Now, thanks for watching.